go. What's up, everybody? This is uh, Wild High 77 with Press A Gaming, and we're jumping back into the world of Fallout New Vegas. Uh, last time we made our way to Novak here, and we are setting up to uh, go ahead from beyond that to continue our way, if I can remember how to control this. Looks like we have to go to the Repcon test site. I don't remember why, so let's take a look at the quest. Come fly with me. Rumors of ghoul activity there. Alright, or I could continue my way to uh, finding the guys who fa found me and blah blah blah, tried to kill me. We're going to go to come fly with me. That'll be our goal for tonight. So, here we go. Ah, uh, moving along, moving along, moving along. Plenty of places to explore, plenty of people to see, plenty of things to talk to. Proud to announce with the... Uh... Ooh, there's something in there. What's in there? A rolling pin. Ah, uh, future weapons today. That's the only thing useful. Uh... Salesman Weekly. What can I do for you? Uh, and medical supplies. Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what. Everybody's so nice. Energy cells, that'd be cool. But my main concern is stim packs, which you want a lot of money for. Money I don't really have. Do I have anything I could trade in? And uh, not really. Looks like I got rid of most of the crap I had. Yeah, nothing I'm willing to part with. All right. Later. All right, so moving along. Moving along, singing a song. We got to head west. Go west, young man. Ooh, dead things. I like searching dead things. Oh, there's nothing on him. Oh, well. Ah, that's a weird noise. Not sure what that noise was. But mommy, make it stop. It's scaring me. <laughs> Hold up, rocketeers. Winding up somewhere. Now let's take it out of the first person or third person view. I prefer the first person. I may flip the third person every so often just so everybody can see that I do actually have a character. An ash pile with a rebar club. There was a fight that went on here and I wasn't invited. Bobby pin. Stim pack. Good to have. Metal box, nothing of interest. I will take the jets, they sell well. I'll take the med X's, they sell well. I will take a nap. Mostly because I want to turn it to daytime. So we'll go ahead and take a 10 hour nap, make it daytime before I go in and do what I gotta do here. Excuse me, had to get a little coffee in me, a little wet my whistle. Uh. <laughs> well, Press A Gaming is proud to announce Mr. Doc in the Blue Box, uh, a.k.a. Brian Miller, joining us on uh, Gaming XP, doing a run, a playthrough run of, ooh, ammo, of, uh, Arkham Asylum, so make sure you check out his videos. His first one will be going up tonight. You know, once he puts all the extra special stuff on it. Energy cells, nice. Wep oh, empty ammo box, not fun. Foot locker, what do we got in here? Sensor modules, I'll take those. We got mines, but oh, bottle caps. I didn't want the checker set. I didn't want the ashtray or the cup. It made me take things I didn't want. Take the scrap metal. Ammunition box. 
Yeah, we'll take all that stuff. Alright, moving along. For a second there, I thought that gnome had something special in its hand. Alright, moving along. Now that that's all completed. <coughs> Excuse me. Just a moving along. You are still dressed as a member of the NCR, I know. That's because I sympathize with the NCR. For those just tuning in who didn't pay attention to the other games, NCR... Ghouls. ...is the new California Republic. Since the drop of the bombs 200 years ago, the NCR is the closest thing to... ...to an actual formative military and government within the post-apocalyptic world. Thank you! That one just did not want to die. He wanted to be a pain in the ass. Quite literally, I think he wanted to bite me. I won't take his teddy bear. Bottle cap. Bottle caps. Money is always good. We like money in the world of money. Or looks like upstairs. Maybe this time I'll actually use vats. Yeah, vats. Vats! Thank you! You want some too, huh? You die now. Yeah, I like these guys. They got money. I like money. Money's a good thing. And here we go into the Repcon facility. Hey, over here. Are you listening? Yeah. Side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up and hurry. All right. Yay. Nightkins, always fun. Dead ghoul. Drain microcells, laser rifle, microfusion cells. Oops, hi. Bye. Human flesh. Ugh. That's gross. Nobody wants that shit. Ooh. First aid kit. What do we got here? Bobby pins. Useful. Stim pack. Useful. Everything else. Not so much. I know you guys are coming. There you are. I knew you were coming. Bye. You guys were mean. Try to surprise me. Oh, dude, carton of cigarettes? No wonder you look like that. It's coming from me. I'm a smoker. Ah, empty. Maybe I should learn to read. All right. Sunset sarsaparilla. I'll take those. Looks like there's more shit around. Die. Another smoker. Jesus. Dead ghoul. Got some bottle caps, some drain fusion cells. I'll take everything but your robes, because I don't care about your robes. Moving along. Very easy lock to pick. Not that easy. Yep. Other way. And we are open. What do we got in here that's useful? We got a tool cabinet with a knife. A whole cabinet for a knife. Wonder glue, a Braxo cleaner. Alright, nothing of real interest around here. Okay. So I opened that for no reason. That's in here. Besides a door that wants to swing me out of the way. Yeah. If 
Filing cabinets with bottle caps. I'll take it. Foot locker with ammo. I'll take it. A bed, which I can't use because enemies are nearby. Uh, ooh. Foot locker empty. Foot locker not empty. Bottle caps. Take it. Foot locker. Bottle caps and nothing. Well. Maybe I'll take down. Weighs five pounds. It's not really worth carrying all that. All right. That's right. Let them know where I am. I hear you. I can't go up. There you are. Smile. I was about to say, really? I bet I can go nap now. Oh, no, I can't. There's another one coming. Somewhere. Where's he at? Where's he at? I think this was the place I was. Up here it is. Okay. Hello. Why am I... Yeah, I got my light on. I don't know why it feels so dark. Alright, so... Bottle caps, drain, drain, and I'll take the plasma rifle. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Working employee terminal. Cool. Private server access. Robco visit. Okay, it's just lore. We can always come back to it. Another employee terminal. Empty shit. Ha ha. Nothing. Ah. Lame. I bet you in here somewhere is a bobblehead, and I'm going to hate myself for not checking straight through, but at the exact moment, what I'm trying to do. Another very easy lock. There we go. Sit down. Radroach meat, yuck. This looks like a room where a bobblehead would sit. So we'll take a slow scan. Scorched books. Uh, carton of cigarettes. Pack of cigarettes. Administrator's terminal. Storage room terminal. Thanks, Bill. Retirement. Alright, nothing on that terminal worth anything. Just a note for the storage room safe. Otherwise, there's nothing in this room worth worrying about. Another enemy nearby. Where? I don't yet know. Come on. Ha-ha! <laughs> Surprise! But I hear more. Are they gonna come from downstairs? Probably. Where you at? Come on. Here, boy. Empty. Oh, there's one that's got something in it. Nothing of interest, though. I just let him know where I am. There he is. Oh, you let him get to me. And he survived. Die. Die, die, die. Nobody likes you. Keep your pencil, though. I'm not heartless. Moving along. Got a 
door here, which looks like it's going to bring me to a bunch of these guys. I want the one I was shooting at first. Too slow. Gun can be too slow. That's all right. Clearing some enemies out. I will have to do it later if I didn't do it now anyway. Jesus, they were sitting there feeding on Brahmin. Two-headed cow for people who don't know. And one of their own, it looks like. And we got another Nightkin. And you had a bad day. Apparently I've been here. No. Three bar club. A door that opens to... Yay! Office stuff. With nothing in it. Ah, desk. Let's see what's in here. Rounds, rounds, rounds. You can keep the paperweight. Nothing in the cabinets. And on to the next cubicles. Nothing. Filing cabinets with nothing. Somebody hiding their cigarettes. A lot of smokers in this game. Who puts money in a drawer like that? I mean, who? Let's see here. Heading up. I think I'm taking a long way up, to be completely honest. He did mention something about, like, take stairs. Metal stairs all the way up. And I, as of yet, have come across those stairs. Oh, they're right here. I'm a dumbass. I was right here the whole time. That's what I get for not paying attention, George. Alright. Got another dead ghoul that's all dressed up. Take your plasma rifle. Hello? Alright, Smoothskin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. Promise. And in we go. Made it up the stairs. God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Uh, hey, you're not a ghoul. Your pranks won't work on me, Smoothskin. They won't work on Jason either. Smoothskin, your skin looks pretty smooth to me. Stop wasting my time, Smoothskin. Go waste Jason's. Alright, so we have a deluded person who believes he's a ghoul. A feral ghoul like everybody else here. Hey. But we are heading up to speak to Jason. Ooh, red means I can s steal it. Now there's Jason. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? I'm here because feral ghouls have been wandering into Novak. And they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? Those ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. <coughs> we kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. The demons must have let them out. Somehow. And now they are lost forever, denied the salvation and healing glow of the far beyond. Please, Wanderer, bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is one that we can save later. Once the way is clear, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great journey. If there are any left. Should I tell them I killed a whole bunch of them? Tell me about these demons. The demons appeared from nowhere. <coughs> Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. 
they set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. You say one of the demons raved at you? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Ah, uh, I'll take care of the demons for you. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Hey, what's up, everybody watching? I know my buddy, uh... Brian Miller of War of the Stars, Star yeah. Wars Canon Library, Breaking the Fourth Wall, and God knows how many other shows is here uh, checking it out. I don't know who the other person is, but right on to you. Whole bunch of shit I can't take. I can after they leave yeah. on the great journey. So I just got to remember what's here. I've got to head out to the basement. So off we go. Put my gun away so I move a little faster. Anything anywhere worth a shit to me? Ah, I go out this way. My light's on, it's just weird. Alright. Back to the Repcon facility. Up oh, now nobody's watching me. Alright. Back down I go, but I don't want to go the hard way. Because that would just suck. Be stupid fighting all these feral ghouls and everything else. And wind up just killing myself by falling off the staircase. Duh. I see you're still watching, Bri. I see it. Well, I don't see it, but I see it. It's funny. At one point, I had more watchers on this video than I had listeners last night on Race the Underground. It's possible. Alright. This is where I've got to be... extra cautious. I am in the basement. And I am looking for dudes that are basically invisible. And extremely powerful. I don't want the pencil, the computer's off. I can go down. Watch the bottles, they're set there for a reason. I could go into sneak mode. Whoa! Ah, I love glitches. God love Bethesda glitches. I see a guy. Hell, did you just throw at me? That's right, I will shoot you in the nuts and I don't care. You had. I'll take the jail key. Alright, I don't want the flamer because that's just heavy. Speaking of, I should turn around and lighten myself up here a little bit.
put those together, put those together. Still all right on that stuff. All right, moving along. Do I, have, wait a minute, do I have a quest for this? No, okay, I'm just getting rid of the night skins, and, or nightkins in the basement. I think I have to get rid of all of them. Is the questing goal, which is a pain in the ass that they're invisible. Does not make this any easier. Plenty of scrap metal, gotta remember that. What do we got over here? Anything? Conductor. Alright. Basically a useless spot. Moving along. I am. For those that are wondering, I am purposely sneaking because I want to be able to see if I get detected. You see up there it says hidden. Because these guys are invisible, unless I'm lucky enough to catch view of the shimmer, as, as the guy put it, Catch a glimpse of the shimmer, as the guy put it. Which is not always the case. Just some garbage. They could sneak up on me, and trust me, I don't want to get hit by these guys, because they hit hard. Lots of scrap metal. Useful later on, not useful now. All it would do is weigh me down. Music is screwing with me. Nobody in here. I wonder. Can I screw with the intercom? I cannot. Alright. Nothing in here. <sighs> Along. Ghoul prisoner. He didn't survive. Alright, looks like the prison. <clears throat> Oop, no, one more door. Alright, looks like the prison is clear. So, moving along. Move back up here. I still don't know if the place is completely secure. The problem with, uh, I think there was a door over here. There was, okay. Okay, we got a spot here with the cabinets that don't have anything in them. Looks like a desk with nothing that I can get. Just a conductor and a coffee cup. Joy. Cabinet. All right. Back to sneak mode. So I think for the most part I've cleared this area. With the exception of the one jailer guy. I'm pretty confident we're clear. I don't see any other doors in the area. All right, we're moving on. All right, so... Yeah, the problem with them being using stealth boys and being uh, invisible. Yep. Well, uh, you can see these guys hit hard. But now that he's not invisible, I can vats him, which is what I was saying. I can't go into vats when they're invisible. Come on, one more shot, one more shot, one more shot. Oh, nice to know you. And you've got nothing of interest to me, but dude, you hit hard. Knew there was going to be more of them. Must be cautious of health. I 
came from in there. Anybody in here? Anybody in here? This seems like it heads back out. I think this is where I came from. Yeah, this is where I came from. Alright, so, moving along. Alright, I gotta keep moving down. The key is down. Checked in there. Check over here. We got a closed door. We don't like closed doors because things can hide behind closed doors. There he is. Hi. That, Adler? We have a visitor. An assassin, more like. I say kill it, Adler, for safe sake. Hmm? Okay, Adler, I'll ask. Uh, hi, human. Why you come here? Uh... Came here on behalf of the ghouls upstairs. A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You meet the ones upstairs. Antler used intercom, told them stay put, but they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Uh, maybe I can help. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. Why can't you search the last room? A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. <coughs> ghoul is a crack shot and set traps too. After I realized, I heard Antler wrong, so I lock a door to keep kin out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then you come along. Antler says you are solution. I'll find a stealth boy stockpile for you if your kin will leave this place. Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. Alright. So now I've got to go... Looks like it's telling me over this way. Now, I don't remember if the other... Yes, they are. Come on. You got pretty blue eyes. Something's telling me I wanna... Something's telling me I may wanna, uh... Heal up a little bit. Since this guy wanted to sneak up on me and hit hard. You got anything? You don't. Alright. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey. You're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? Jason sent me down here to get rid of the demons. And I bet he told you it's the creator's will for you to risk your ass instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. How'd you end up getting trapped down here? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harlan. 
pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs, and things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others, so I fell back to his room and set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. You don't look like the other ghouls from Bright's group. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine-looking ghoulettes in it. Huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Yeah, my... Anyway, I helped them out. And they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. How'd you survive? I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Condensation off the pipes for water. Then I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. How can I help you get out of this room? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement. She's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself. Except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. I did find her, unfortunately. I see. Spare me the details. Goddamn. She had the yellowest smile. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Go ahead and root around up here if you want. I'm going to make a break for topside. Alright, so... That quick and easily, we did it without a fight. Which is useful, because I think I fought him the first time I ever played this game. And, uh... What's up, boss? I don't have to hide. Rad roach meat. That's the food he's been eating. Told me to root around up here if I wanted to. Maybe that was an indication that there's stuff up here like rounds. Always useful. Even though I'm using a weapon now. Oh, jet. You're here getting high, you lying bastard. Alright, so... Kinda sorta useful stuff. Not finished looking around yet, so... Not writing it off as a waste, complete waste of my time, but... So far, enough. Let's see if I can find the stealth boys. That'd be cool. Not that I would ever use them. Activate terminal. Shipment mistake. Shipment sent back. Alright, now I know where the stealth boys are to be able to tell them. Priority one message coming in on secure channel. Finishing looking around. Just in case there's anything worth a crap around here. Which so far apparently looks like nothing. Oh, I made the jump. Good. Because I wanted to check this side before we moved on. Alright, nothing. Not a goddamn thing. Alright, made the jump twice. That makes me special. I can go down and out. Oh, watch the traps. Forgot about those. He put those all throughout here. I just want to make sure there's no... Ah, more traps. 
activate. Disarm. Ooh, I get... <laughs> Disarm. I get experience for this. I'm going to do it real quick. Disarm. Disarm. Look for any others. Ah, there's one there. There's got to be shit there, too. Concealed mine. Ah, my explosives aren't high enough. High enough. So I got to watch out for that shit, too. Oh, he's got mines right next to the box. That's no fair. But I was able to get the shit out of it without activating the mines. Ooh, tripwire. Come on, back up. You bastard. Disarm tripwire. I don't have the high enough repair skill to take those, but I could take that. Ah, you son of a bug. So now I've got two really screwed up arms that I'm going to have to waste stim packs to repair. It looks like somebody other than me tripped that one. Nothing of true interest there. Make sure I'm not going to walk on anything that'll boom. Eyeball. Alright, so everything that's supposed to be dead in here is dead in here. So let's go back to Davis in here and tell him what's going on. Sup, boss? Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? There is no stockpile of stealth boys in this building. Liar! The envoy said stealth. Stealth boys were sent here by mistake, then sent back. But invoice note said stealth boys were here. Why can't that note be true? What, Antler? But human could be lying. He's stealing the stealth boys for itself. Oh, Antler, you trust so easy. Your lucky day, human. Antler, believe you. Nikon will follow the new note to find stealth boys. Better be there. Right. Sends him on his way. And I could check this place for stuff which is what I really wanted to do that boy made sure he took his little antler thing with him which is kind of funny actually always laughed at that character as if like super mutants weren't creepy enough as is and then behind him we had this room here which, at least at the exact moment, serves no real purpose except having a hidden room down here. Oh, wait, why am I looking for bobbleheads in here? It's, uh, snow globes. That's right, I'm playing Fallout New Vegas, not Fallout 3 or Fallout 4. Oh, I know where this is. Okay. I know where I am. Okay, okay. Nothing of interest in here. We'll go down before we go visit uh, Jason Bright and turn in the quest. Got about 15 minutes left in the episode anyway, so we'll finish this off the correct way. I love how it keeps telling me I'm still dressed in NCR garb. 
Because that might be an issue. Reloading bench. I don't have the stuff needed for reloading, even though I've got the empty casings. Useless room. That heads outside, I believe. Let's see. Yeah. Mojave Wasteland, that's a way out. Because I think they're going to send me on a couple more quests to finish this out. And last but not least, we walk in here at the control room for their little special pre uh, quest thing that they're on. What they're hoping to do and achieve. A very irradiated rocket area. Bottle caps. Coffee mug. Still coffee mug. Space suit. Space helmet. I'll take those. Just for novelty purposes. Da, da, da. Ooh, stim pack. Mine. Medics. Mine. Mentat's mine. Nothing else of interest around. Alright. Oops. Put this away. Head back up. We'll talk to Jason Bright. And that will probably be this episode. I think it'll be a pretty decent conversation. Uh, for YouTube, for, for well, first off for Twitch TV, thanks very much for hanging out with me. Everybody who checked out the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, make sure you follow me on Twitch TV. I come on every couple days to do another chapter of this. I am doing a complete walkthrough of the game. Uh, hoping to 100% the game on top of doing the complete walkthrough. So that's why I spend a little extra attention in looking for everything. That's my way out. Um, for YouTube, press A Gaming, make sure you like, comment, let me know where you want me to go, what you want me to do, what, uh, what quests you want me to do next, or places you want me to explore. Uh, I want this to be a fully interactive playthrough. Also, make sure you're checking out the other great games and, uh, and videos up on the site. Like I said, just look up Press A Gaming on YouTube. Or uh, Realm of the Mist Entertainment, where you can find not only uh, Press A Gaming, but you can also find Breaking the Fourth Wall, Star Wars Canon Library, War of the Stars Podcast, uh, Sith Lord 310 Reviews, and uh, Gaming XP, and so many more shows. So make sure you're giving us some love and support, because without you guys, there is no us. So, got that out of the way. Hey, Harlan. You came all the way up here. You did good, smooth skin. Never thought I'd get out of that room. Goodbye. Later. Alright, so he came back here. I still can't take this shit. Bright follower. Is that another one? That, oh, yeah. He's, he's ugly. Oh, where is Jason? I want to talk to Jason. Where's Jason? Down here. Hey. Hey. You ugly motherfucker. Uh, I know he's not in here. I'm just looking around real quick. A lot, if you never played the Fallout games, this is a lot of what you do. You're looking around for things, especially because that's how you find the hard to find shit. You never know where a snow globe is going to be. You never know where a magazine is going to be. So you got to look around. He's not in the Repcon facility. He's over here somewhere. He's asleep. Fucking lazy ass. Get up. Yo. Is the way clear? The demons are gone. Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. 
There is much to be done. <laughs> Where I gotta come find him? Where he wants me to come find him is exactly where I was in the basement, and I still can't take shit. I can, if I want to play an evil character who steals, but I'm just not that guy. I don't have it in me. I'm too nice of a guy. I don't want to go to... Do I want to go to the Repcon facility? Yes, I know about healing limbs. Uh, there. No, leave me alone. Oh, wait, I was doing something on purpose. Yeah, they want me to go through that door. So I guess I'm going through that door. Yep, okay, we're good. Going back down to where I was. Down in that basement. Was it down here? Yeah, it was down here. Had to think for a minute. Ah, oh, he's got the suit on, like I got. They all got the suit on, like I got. Isn't that cute? careful what you're doing. There's no need to be kicking barrels around. Aha! I found you! I wanted to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. All right. Let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your Redeemers both. What is the great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Are you seriously going to make your journey on those rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. <laughs> so you're gonna leave Chris behind? I'm Such not gonna... I'm not gonna destroy his dreams. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. 
The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Wow, you really pulled the bull over his eyes. I take no pleasure in hiding the truth from Chris. But it is the Creator's will to which I must submit. Goodbye, Jason. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Yeah, well, I'm not done yet. I gotta go find Chris now, who just showed up. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Alright, how can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of Isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. I'll track down the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. I'd like to help with something else. All right. Never mind, I'll go looking for your... I guess I gotta do them individually. I was gonna take both quests on at the same time, but... I already checked this. Alright, that's gonna be it for tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, make sure you're commenting, uh, sharing, liking, and subscribing.